what's your special subject? Hello, I'm Simon Bucknell, and I'm about to give a talk on the subject of university entrance to a group of sixth formers here. You can see the college library backdrop behind me. And specifically, it will centre on Oxford and Cambridge entry. And of course, both universities are very internationally famous, but more famous both in the UK and overseas. And the interview is one of the biggest challenges uh, of that whole process. And it's also one of the areas which, around which the greatest number of myths seem to circulate about what you can expect and what may or may not happen. Will you be thrown a rugby ball and asked to catch it or boot it back out the window in order to get a scholarship and all that stuff? A lot of it, frankly, is guff. But nonetheless, they do present a challenge because it's very hard to predict exactly what will happen. And when giving talks, to students who are considering applying to Oxford and Cambridge, there's a whole series of tips and things that you can do to put yourself in the best possible position to deal with whatever's thrown at you. And here's one of them, to have a special subject, something focused, something niche. In my case, when I was interviewing for Oxford, I went to and had the good fortune to attend uh, University College Oxford for three years studying history. And in my A-level, I was studying both European and British history, but my challenge was to identify a specific area of the syllabus in which I could build real expertise uh, beyond, uh, way and above uh, and beyond A-level standard. And for that, I had to get really focused. And it's the, the same is true in business, or indeed for any speaker, consultant, trainer, to get really clear and focused on your expertise, because without that, it's very difficult to differentiate yourself. And so in my case, I chose not just European rather than British history. I chose not just a Russian European history as opposed to uh, Italian, German, and also Central East European, which we'd also been studying. I chose Russian history, specifically the role of Lenin between 1917 and 1920. And that's getting pretty focused if you think about it. The role of Lenin at that particular time in the three years immediately after the Russian Revolution. But it enabled me to really gain some expertise which, which was above and beyond that of regular A-level. And so when it came to my interview and I was asked, Simon, what would you like to talk about? I said, could I talk about Lenin? And sure enough, that was what we spent 20 minutes discussing. And uh, even though uh, I was challenged in that discussion, uh, in no way was it about me trying to demonstrate how much I knew. I was still challenged because, frankly, the people interviewing me still knew far more than I did. Nonetheless, I was in a position of at least relative strength uh, in the interview. So it's something to consider. What is your special subject? How focused can you get? Because there's tremendous power that comes from that depth of insight. And subsequently, in, as an undergraduate in Oxford in my final year, every student in history does have to choose literally a special subject, which in my case, I spent what, the best part of two and a half months studying nothing else other than the High Renaissance in Rome and Florence between 1478 and 1512. That's not a very big period of time, although a lot happened then. But nonetheless, it was really focused, uh, 1478 to 1512. 12. So consider, what's your special subject? How focused and niche is it? Could it be that little bit more clearly defined? Speak well, speak soon.